This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, all three major indices finished lower for the first time since December, with the NASDAQ snapping a five-week winning streak. Markets appear to be digesting the previous month's gains as stocks had enjoyed a strong start to the year. All three indexes finished January higher, including an 11% rise in the NASDAQ, in part because investors had expected the Fed to end its campaign to raise interest rates and eventually lower them. Last month brought plenty of affirmation for stock market bulls, with lots of favorable data releases and a more dovish-sounding Federal Reserve chairman. The data depicted an economy that is not headed for a recession, but to the surprise of many, remaining quite robust amid signs of disinflation. Economic developments have been mostly positive and well-received by the markets and have exceeded even this optimist's expectations. The only unhappy investors this year have been the Debbie Downers, the Perma Bears, and other pessimists who are convinced that 2023 will be as bad or worse than 2022 for the economy and for the market. Truth be told, I can't recall a happier batch of economic indicators than the ones that came out over the past few weeks. Consider the following, lots of jobs filled and still open. The December JOLTS report showed there were 1.9 jobs for each unemployed person. The economy added 517,000 jobs last month as the employment rate fell to 3.4%, the lowest since 1969. There's plenty of purchasing power with wages and salaries climbing. January's auto sales jumped to 16.2 million units from 13.6 during December, while the services PMI rebounded to 55.2 from 49, signaling an expansion. And the housing market may be bottoming as mortgage rates have edged down and home prices are falling. The pending existing home sales index edged up in December, and the new housing market index did the same during January. So bottom line, the economic news is not aligned with the perma bears narrative for the economy or the market. Perhaps it's time for the pessimists to heed the advice of English economist John Maynard Keynes, who so famously said, when the facts change, I change my mind. What do you do, sir? Hey, my son, Ryan, and I, we have 68 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you need to do is text or call right now at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.